All right, all right. Let's get some eyes on this pod plan. Uh, half of the stuff is stuff that you suggested. So, hey. so you should know what's on yeah. there. I mean, to be fair, when I suggest stuff, I like only kind of skim my eyes over the first couple sentences of okay. the article and then I don't read the rest. So okay, still cool. won't totally know what's going on. Yeah, that's awesome. Great, cool. Also, well, Kyle, it, click your microphone, the little arrow by your microphone and make sure your audio is going in through the headphones because it was dog shit last time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Is it getting louder? Yeah, is it it's... really loud? <laughs> yeah, now we can really hear all the breaths coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Yeah. Always I'm going to hear Kyle like heavy breathing in the background the entire time. I'll, I'll, I'm I'm going to get a nice mic. Don't worry. You but can you just cut me to. out. Just cut me out completely. This mic sounds better, I think. This is a different set of headphones. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, <laughs> well, um, shall I introduce the pod? Is it time? Yeah. Is uh, Alyssa coming or no? Uh, no, I don't think she is. Tell her she's dead to me. <laughs> Alyssa, you're dead to Ryan. No response. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's real broken up about that. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. All right. Yeah. You can go ahead and introduce us. Cool. Well, today, as you well know, we have a very special episode of Get Off the Air. <laughs> Uh, why is it special? Sometimes you just have to make things special for yourself to break up the monotony of living. Yeah, so I can this tell. Is, I can tell this was prepared beforehand. It it was. <laughs> it wasn't. Yeah. 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 I I am never scripted, mm -hmm. buddy, old pal. Uh, it's episode four. I think. I don't know, man. I'm Natalie. That was Ryan. Kyle is is no longer COVID. Kyle. Uh, unfortunately, back to just normal, Kyle. Oh, okay. Just, uh, long COVID. Less Kyle. cool. I wouldn't say normal. I'd say you know extraordinary. Well, yeah, maybe you're not normal. A gift to but... the world. You know. <laughs> a fucking nerd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not a nerd. I'm very cool. Okay, good. Good very intro. Cool software developer. Yeah. So that's get off the air. Insert jazz. Okay, what do you want to do first? We could do the Finland, the clubbing in Finland. All right, I can warm up with a little Finland. Mm -hmm. So you want to explain uh, what happened here? Uh, yeah. Based on your cursory review of like a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my brief reading of one single tweet about the situation told me that... Uh, the prime minister of Finland, very, very pretty lady. Uh, yeah, super into that. She, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's like, like offensively hot for a yeah. prime minister. <laughs> yeah. I have not seen her. Let me see her. It's kind of upsetting, honestly. She's like when 36 years old. Yeah. And hot. And the prime minister of Finland. I mean, aren't all the Scandinavians like pretty? Isn't that like their thing? She's extra pretty. <laughs> <laughs> she's extra pretty and she's young. <laughs> Which will come into play in the discussion. The youngest prime minister of all time yeah. in Finland. Yeah, she is pretty. Which begs the question, why is every world leader not hot? <laughs> Some of them are. I mean, Trudeau. Yeah, Trudeau is hot. He's, He's probably hot. like second yeah. to her in terms of hottest ever world leaders. Angela she is Merkel. number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah Angela, Angela Merkel, Merkel is up she. There. <laughs> yeah. Smoke show. Yeah. <laughs> she might like maybe not physically, but when she speaks in that, you know, German 
yeah that that, 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 that does sexy the trick. german accent mm-hmm. um it really does it was it shinzo abe but when he was <laughs> still in there he's you know xi jinping no he is uh, not he is not attractive well what about that uh uh, Vladimir Putin. There's that picture of him with his shirt off on, like a yeah, he horse. He hard <laughs> riding a bear. Uh, he's no, not there's... hot. He looks yeah, like he... a mouse. <laughs> you haven't seen him on the horse. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> I could you. imagine a horse riding a mouse. He just looks I like mean... a meathead. You know, like Channing Tatum. I mean, he, doesn't he looks... have any. Yeah. You know. Channing Tatum, is, Channing Tatum is known as like a sex symbol in this country. I mean, he's attractive, but it's just a different kind. He's not, he's not, you know, it's very one layer, very shallow, one dimensional. That's what Putin is. Yeah. yeah he's like just a KGB guy. Nothing really behind <laughs> the eyes. You mean? He just he yeah. looks like he should be wearing a, a track suit. Very. He, he does. Yeah. Putin. Yeah. I could see that. Well, uh, so I haven't said what the story is yet. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Got so off far, on the facts revealed have been that Finland's prime minister is very hot, which mm-hmm. is the most important thing to know. Right. She has this... blue eyes also. Okay. So, I'm a sucker sure. for a lady with blue eyes. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. Very, <laughs> very defined collarbones as well, which I also like. Yeah, lady. she does have sexy collarbones. I like when the collarbones are like basically a turtleneck, you know, it's like, half, oh, like, okay. like halfway okay. up her neck. So, you, yeah, you want an actual turtle for like a. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed. Are you into turtles? <laughs> I like when a lady is a turtle. Yeah. Very into that. What can I say? I like turtle women. TMNT <laughs> really spoke to you on another level. <laughs> oh, oh, it did. Uh, yeah, great. So go ahead and say uh, what happened. So basically, she was out clubbing. Um, mm. As, as you know, a, a young lady such as herself can go out clubbing uh, until 4 a.m. Is there a... any place in the world more dangerous than a Finnish club? I think you'd get <laughs> roofied almost immediately. I don't think so. Finland seems like a lovely place. Yeah. It's just cold. Yeah. yeah, it is cold. Reindeer everywhere. It's a little close to Russia. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe a little, rain- a, a <laughs> smidge too close. <laughs> it's a little too close to com- for comfort. Its main problem is just being geographically a little too close to Russia. Especially <laughs> nowadays when Russia's like, just about to invade ukraine yeah, yeah like it's gonna happen soon she's, she's probably got a little sweat on her brow right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why she's clubbing she's gotta let off the steam yeah. clubbing to forget <laughs> the fact that Russia's is about to go fucking berserker on everyone in the near vicinity yeah the next text she's gonna miss is like there are russian troops at the finnish border she's gonna be in the club <laughs> on like ecstasy or something <laughs> Um, okay. Have we yes. said? Have we said no, what happened yet? No, okay. no, we have not gotten there. <laughs> this is background. <laughs> There's a lot of exposition for this. Um, so now you have the background. Yeah. So she was out in the club, clubbing till four a.m. Um, a very impressed that she can still stay up until four a.m. As a 25 year old, I cannot. Uh, but she left her work phone at home. And missed a text that told her that she had to quarantine because she'd been exposed to someone with COVID. Um, One of her, I don't even know, one of the other people in the government had COVID. Apparently she did know, but they told her she didn't have to quarantine. And then they like changed their minds in the middle of the night while she was clubbing and she missed the text. So she didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, of course. How could she? I mean, look at her. <laughs> she couldn't possibly do anything wrong. Yeah. Pretty then people the, can't do wrong. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty lady. <laughs> the Finnish were originally mad at her, but then they remembered that she's smoking hot. Yeah. And they, they got over it. <laughs> they went, oh, you. Oh, wait, it's wait a sec. Oh, no, she's hot. Oh, <laughs> shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly like conservatives being mad at her for some reason even though they don't care about covid it seems like 
And uh, what is a Finnish conservative like a communist? Well, I yeah. think it's like <laughs> non Finnish people being mad about something happening in Finland. Oh, oh well, I'm beside yeah. myself, frankly. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> she probably had Omicron. I checked, it is in, uh, it's in Fiz- Finland now. So, oh, shit. Well, okay. It should be Finland. That'd be much country. Just face things up a little. Finland, the <laughs> land of Finland. soda. <laughs> they just rebrand the whole country. <laughs> They're now the soda place. <laughs> it's like fucking Willy Wonka. <laughs> she is hot, Willy Wonka. <laughs> the country of Finland gets sponsored by Pepsi, mm-hmm. and all that has to change its name. Yeah, um, I think the most upsetting thing about this is just reading the Twitter replies and seeing everyone calling 36 elderly and saying yeah. that 25 is too old to go clubbing. Uh, really makes me feel like I've got one foot in the grave. So that's, <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> well, How can you be too old to go clubbing? I mean, come on. Right? Yeah, the thing I'm more fixated on is that she's the head of government and she's just going to a club <laughs> and not being assassinated. That's yeah, that's, that is kind of funky. What kind of yeah. country is it? Like, they don't imagine, assassinate their president? No, but like, that's, it, it shouldn't, that's like playing with fire. If you're a high-level government official just going out in public. Do you think she has secret service? I'm, I'm sure she had like some secret service with no, her. I'm and sa- maybe like, I don't know. It's it's a good thing, but it's just like on a like imagine yeah. Joe Biden just going to the club <laughs> one night in DC. <laughs> I sincerely hope if she did have secret service that they could also enjoy the club, like they're just going <laughs> getting drunk, <laughs> you know, in a in a defensive <laughs> formation, just still vibing, <laughs> forming a phalanx around her, just like kind of bouncing, but bouncing, yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean that i don't know how great that like club experience would be you're just in the middle of like a group of armed men you can't see anybody else. sounds like it might be a great yeah i don't club know <laughs> <laughs> yeah for joe biden to go clubbing he would have to like rent out the club and be there by himself yeah <laughs> mostly because take it even he would grope the most people <laughs> if, he, if he went clubbing that's why they don't let him go clubbing it's not security it's yeah. just that he's a serial groper he would be a menace <laughs> i imagine he'd, be he'd just bumble a... around groping yeah. people by accident <laughs> just fall into them yeah. hand on ass <laughs> reflexively oh. groping people he would forget that it's not the 70s and he would be like oh wait we I did bet. lose that over the decades. <laughs> Lost the ability to grow people in clothes. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're warning? <laughs> yeah, I do uh, like the idea of Joe Biden going clubbing, though. I'd like to see him dance. Yeah. I, I don't think I would. He probably got pretty <laughs> stiff hips, I think. Yeah, Donald He's Trump stiff, stiff every bad. part of every part of his body is stiff. He's a yeah. hundred years old. We have to replace him with a pretty lady. Well, who's 36? <laughs> oh, yeah, 36 year old. More likely, Mala Harris. Uh, more, uh, well, more likely, we're gonna get Marjorie Taylor Green. Oh, oh, no, rather than a pretty 36 year old lady. No, we're gonna I'd get rather not. Yeah, I would, <laughs> I would vote for the pretty lady. I think I would not go for the skeleton lady. <laughs> Who would have won the last election if we had just voted for the prettiest primary candidates? Oh, Tulsi Gabbard. Oh, oh yeah, Tulsi Gabbard is pretty. Yeah, uh... she she was very hot. Weird. You don't think Beto? Uh, I mean, <laughs> he's gotta... goofy hot. Yeah, that's true. He's like lanky. He's yeah. He's a little too too tall. Women love a lanky man. <laughs> Do they? Uh, <laughs> speaking from experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> women love when a man's limbs just sort of dangle loosely at his side <laughs> they love that well thanks Everyone for telling me dangling limbs yeah, yeah i do they love just sort of look like they're not really part of the body 
<laughs> like a woody doll. Yeah, they're just sort of attached. <laughs> wow, that's an unnecessary limb right there. I'm so turned on. <laughs> <laughs> that limb looks dead. <laughs> Yeah, nothing gets me going like dangling limbs. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, what's next, bud? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we could talk about the French presidential candidate named Zemmour, who was recently put in a headlock at oh, one of his wow. rallies by, by a rowdy protester. That sounds delightful. Yeah, incredibly satisfying. Uh, yeah, so since um, none of you uh, know what's going on, um, yeah. <laughs> the recently at uh, one of the people running for French president, his name is Zemmour, and he's like um, Marine Le Pen, but significantly worse and more openly racist. Oh, God. Um, and so he's obvious, he's like, he's said he's modeling his campaign off of uh, Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> Cause he said Trump, or it was like a spokesman was like, well, Trump won. So <laughs> that's basically what we're going to try to <laughs> Shit, do. I mean, but he's like point. more, he's like more racist than uh, Trump. Even he's just like uh, talks about great replacement of white people and shit like that. Um, anyway, he obviously draws a lot of protesters to his rallies. Um, And recently at one of these rallies was put into a headlock by somebody in the crowd, went on to give a speech, but then uh, later uh, campaign officials said that his wrist was injured in the scuffle and he was ordered to rest for nine days. That's the most French thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Can't so, work. <laughs> yeah. Make it up. After a wrist injury, um, he was he was not able to nine work. days of bed rest. His wrist is hurting. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, are we? <laughs> oh my wrist. Wrist. Ooh, are we? Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, uh. Yeah, so <laughs> Anyway, I, it, like more in that article, apparently, um, like obviously the French attack presidential candidates and presidents all the time. I apparently, uh, Macron was slapped in the face in <laughs> oh, June. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, we should do that more often. I know. We're That's slapping awesome. a president. <laughs> so um, I, I would like to there's like a video of it of him being slapped in the face that i would like to share with you guys france where president emmanuel macron was slapped in the face on tuesday <laughs> the man who slapped him is a medieval sword enthusiast with no previous criminal <laughs> record yeah. macron is up for re-election next year i think we'll be talking about this slap for the entire election campaign but whether that will result in a movement for or against macron i don't think so as far as I'm concerned, he got off easy. The guy was a medieval sword enthusiast. <laughs> Did you catch that? Oh, yeah. I got that. Yeah. It could have gone so much worse. <laughs> just claymore. <to> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just like a like a great sword to the neck. <laughs> Slapped him with a sword. Yeah. It runs up in chain mail. Dude, these, you know. I do shit on the French a lot, but those are some pretty cool people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Macron getting slapped was much more French than the headlock. That was surprisingly un-French. If he would have like <laughs> popped the head off completely, then then it would have been true. It French. would harken back to the guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> he he just should have put a little more force into it. No, I'm just thinking like like you get. Like a French, a Frenchman putting someone in a headlock doesn't really, they don't, they don't vibe together, but like a, a yeah. slap, like, fuck yeah, you. that's true. It's, it's just, not as dainty. Yeah, the French exactly. are very dainty. They are. And a yeah. slap is kind of like petty, you yeah. know, in that French way. <laughs> yeah. The, the French are very petty. A headlock is too just like aggressive 
it feels like a headlock is more of something like I think it's, an Italian would do. Yeah, or German. Or German. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like maybe no other countries have secret service for their leaders. <laughs> <laughs> they just let it let anything happen yeah, yeah we're going we're going real international on this pod just learning sure how are. there's no security anywhere except america when i went to iceland we got to go to where the president lives like their version of like their white house and there was no security we could just walk up to it there was like cool. a cop car sitting in the lawn and that was it maybe that means like you know more badass defensible uh, candidates will be selected like you know teddy roosevelt kind of people that's pretty you know that's that's a pro that's um, true having more candidates like teddy roosevelt who was just a complete badass yeah rather than joe joe, yeah, would, joe. joe would die if he was put in a headlock <laughs> yeah no, he, he, would. he definitely would <laughs> he cannot survive any stoppage of air to his yeah. brain he needs <laughs> If he got a millisecond of oxygen depletion, he would die. If he was slapped by like a protester or something, he would just, it would be like the end of Infinity War. (laughs) He would just sort of disintegrate and float away. (laughs) He probably does have some squishy bones. (laughs) Squishy. Pliable bones. Yeah. The ladies love that as well. (laughs) It's another thing that ladies love. Yeah. Pliable well, bones. <laughs> limp limbs. <laughs> just sort of constantly looking like you're in pain. Okay, I yeah. want to know what Those. kind of weird romantic world you live in. You like turtle <laughs> women. <laughs> yeah, if you've been having some weird <laughs> bumble dates recently. I'm, I'm just imagining that women are attracted to what I look like. <laughs> A lanky turtle with malleable bones. Yeah, it's like a, it's kind of a coping mechanism, to be honest. Yeah, okay, that well. checks out. Yeah, anyway, keep imagining. Pod stance. <laughs> pod stance. Um, continue to headlock. Uh, Zay Moore. Oh, yeah. Um, Very pro. Yeah, I would throw some slaps in there. I think they've got to hit them with one of those too. Also, tomatoes. Like Tom- we gotta go oh, back to that. Oh yeah. yeah, rotten but tomatoes. The yeah. glove filled Underrated. with oh, uh, yeah. water or something. Slap them with one of those. Mm. Yeah, throw down the gauntlet or throw syrup on him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like too sticky. Yeah, he's sticky. going through the whole day. Like oh, oh. tar it's and like, feather oh, him. My God, it feels so <laughs> gross right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He'd just, just be sticky. He'd just be sticky. It's not like it's it's mild like, discomfort. Yeah. Just mild discomfort. Pour water on his socks. Yeah, wet socks. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That'd be a bad day. Cut his fingernails too short. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, oh God, ow. <laughs> Entire day. Uh. Okay. Um, next next story. Apparently, um, <clears throat> Trump uh, was diagnosed with COVID much sooner than uh, previously thought and then just almost died from it. <laughs> <laughs> so he got diagnosed with COVID like three days before he debated Joe Biden. <laughs> um, still went out there. Could nice. Not have withstood even a single COVID particle. Um, He, I think that's why he was talking so much because maybe he was trying to spread the COVID particles onto Joe Biden, do biological warfare on him. Um, It would have worked. Joe Biden would not survive COVID. That's for sure. Yeah. So essentially like he was diagnosed and the whole time they were saying he was in good spirits and whatever. Um, the book that was written by like his chief of staff says he was like sitting in bed in a t-shirt with like an oxygen tank on his, at his side and like blood red eyes and his hair, (laughs) like basically about to die. 
<laughs> and they begged him to like leave the White House to go to the hospital because they were saying uh, they were going to have to carry him out on a gurney in two days if they didn't do that. Damn. Wow, that would have been something. Um, oh, he, like, yeah. Um, that was like a couple days, I think, after he debated Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, again, could not have withstood a single COVID particle. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a that was a targeted attack. Yeah. I wish we could have seen that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have. Wish we could have seen him like fucking sniffling. I would pay for that photograph. <laughs> him with the sniffles. Also, describing him as like in bed wearing a t-shirt makes me think that he wasn't wearing anything on the bottom half. Yeah, just like Donald Duck in it. <laughs> it, it made me think of Winnie the Pooh at first. <laughs> Another good. It has like a dirty, a dirty like Nirvana t-shirt on. It's just like his penis out. Oh my God. I gotta I got say, there's nothing more like pathetic looking <laughs> Than a man just wearing a shirt with not, nothing on the bottom. <laughs> wow. So stupid. Shots fired. <laughs> well, so would a woman wearing just a shirt with nothing on the bottom. Uh, I don't not think nearly looks, as bad. Yeah, no, that's no. A, like a good look. <laughs> yeah. A dude wearing a, like a, a shirt white. that just cuts off before the penis. <laughs> and so you, it's just dangling down. It looks just so like vulnerable. It's almost degrading. Oh my god! <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's true. It's just a wiener. I just could like snip it right off. Yeah. <laughs> How vulnerable it is. Look exactly. At Prime snipping territory. Oh come on! <laughs> Don't say that. Don't you ever say that. <laughs> so you're saying you we're fantasizing about just snipping the president's penis off. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. This is why men have castration anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> because well, of w- women like you. You're in a vulnerable position. Always. It's you always possible to get snipped all of a sudden. You know, I've never like been like, Oh yes, I'm very vulnerable right now. <laughs> <laughs> like God. Nothing protecting it from snippage. <laughs> Give me a big worry now. <laughs> they're looking someone, over my shoulder. Someone just is stealing penises. <laughs> like they're they're the like thief. they're like turn of the century pickpockets, but instead of like <laughs> instead of being cut purses, they just like oh, they snip, snip it into their little bags. <laughs> <laughs> what do they off. need them for? <laughs> I don't know. They're like orphans. So that does Sell sound like a very market. French criminal. Orphans. Yeah, I'm thinking like Oliver Twist pickpocket type of people. Jesus. Now you've added another weird Blair to yeah, it. Yeah, this is even. No. Oh, I thought that was pretty <laughs> I was, apparent. But I was children imagining, collecting penises. Yeah, like, <laughs> like a man cartoonishly dressed in black running around. I, maybe a <laughs> yeah. French guy, like. Yeah. Oh, I got your mustache. penis. <laughs> <laughs> and just running off. Running into um, the alley. <laughs> no, they're they're young orphan children. Oh god. Nineteenth century nineteenth century uh English orphan children. That's Jesus a whole different Christ. direction on this. <laughs> oh, I'm that, to me, that's the most obvious direction to take this. I got his okay. penis. They just like <laughs> run off. I got his penis. Trade it for porridge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> Jack the Snipper. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, no. No. Oh, so, uh, that one just came to the... Wow. Came to the brain. <laughs> <laughs> no. That would be, it's like the feminist version of Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Instead of killing prostitutes, he's just going around snipping weens. It's still Noble a man sweets. doing it. Is that the feminist version? <laughs> it could be. Or did like Jacqueline the snipper. Yeah. yeah, it could be Jacqueline. 
Jackie the Snipper. I think we've got a good uh, movie concept here. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could so. see this being like a Seth Rogen comedy. Oh, God. <laughs> I could see it being a completely serious movie that would then be taken seriously <laughs> since it's 2021. And like the lamb. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Much like lamb. It's just called lamb. Okay. Yeah. Don't have the, the it's not. Show yeah. a little respect yeah, for yeah. that movie. Okay. <laughs> I'll show respect for the movie about the lamb child. The lamb <laughs> child. The sacred lamb child. Jack the Snipper coming to a theater <laughs> near you. I, I think it should have musical numbers like Sweeney Todd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it oh, should God. be a musical. A hundred percent. Yeah, it, it should. It should have musical numbers. No. It could be a Broadway play. Yeah. It's kind of, it's like a mix of Sweeney Todd. You've got like Oliver Twist. I don't know if that's musical. Probably not. You've got he, the orphan. He comes. He's Jack. The sniffer. (laughs) (laughs) I am going to snip your penis. (laughs) Someone write this. Who's the the best writer of the three of us? The (laughs) sniffer. We need to write this. This play. Snip, snip, snippity snap. Take your your penis. I won't give it back. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure we can get a venture capitalist to fund it. The (laughs) sniffer. The (laughs) sniffer. I mean, who wouldn't see that play? I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm thinking like Jack the Snipper just has a giant pair of scissors like in Big Lebowski when his penis is going to get snipped. (laughs) I think maybe this entire concept has just come like subconsciously from the Big Lebowski, the Germans (laughs) in Big Lebowski. (laughs) Your bigly penis. (laughs) Okay, um, maybe maybe we should get off this. Ooh, yeah, I think yeah. we gotta get off this train. We really did. Yeah, how did we get from COVID Trump to uh, um, to orphan Jack boys snipper. Snipper. <laughs> in, a, in a musical? You never know. You never know where. Yeah, art is gonna take you. Yeah, it's the true. Trial of being an artist. That's the creative process, right there. <laughs> All right, um, enough of that. <laughs> Next story we'll talk about is uh, the Jeff Bezos becoming an astronaut. Uh huh. Did you uh, did you look at this at all? Uh, I read the sentence you wrote about what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let me let me give you the rundown. Essentially, uh, Jeff Bezos spent enough money to go to space. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I remember that. And in the penis rocket, yeah. yeah. In the in the big penis rocket, <laughs> there is a program. Uh, uh, the FAA basically gives out uh, astronaut awards. It makes you an astronaut um, under certain conditions. You sh- uh, back in the day, the conditions were that you had to be a member of the flight crew, and then they were changed in July when Bezos went on his flight to be uh, that you. Uh, had to like do something for the safety of the crew or whatever. And then he couldn't even meet that. And so they changed the criteria <laughs> again uh, a couple days ago to be, you just had to be on the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> said so to go to space. <laughs> him and all these other billionaires uh, like Richard Branson and um, whoever paid to be on the flight, uh, William Shatner, they're all now just astronauts. Um, because of this new change in criteria, and they like got the the astronaut wings pinned on them. <laughs> oh, come on! Equivalent to John Glenn. <laughs> yeah, if you see the picture of him getting the wings pinned on his uh, like lapel in the article, um, it's just like he's so proud of having done less than nothing. Um, <laughs> he has it, he's got his, his cowboy hat. Oh, on. the fuck! Why does he wear that cowboy hat everywhere? And the boots. Know. He looks like a like a Boy Scout receiving his like Eagle Scout membership or oh, whatever. The, 
this was definitely a childhood dream, I'm sure. Yeah, he was yeah. probably one of those astronauts. A lot of people were back then. I think I mean, the next strategy to uh, get all of his money mm-hmm. is to tell him you will give him more awards if he like explores deep space. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a super astronaut. <laughs> Yeah. You'll have to leave Earth forever. I'll give you even bigger wings when you get back. <laughs> if you just explore the atmosphere of Venus. You, you know, just country. land on uh... yeah, just try it out. Yeah. If Why you, you do a, the first uh, walk on Venus. The first walk on one of the gas giants. Yeah. <laughs> Fly directly into the, the big red spot of Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what's in there. You know what's been unexplored uh, is the asteroid belt. <laughs> we don't know a lot about the asteroid belt. Don't you? What we don't know a lot about is the surface of the sun. <laughs> it might not be that hot. <laughs> We're no. just basically assuming it's hot. <laughs> it just kind of looks hot so we <laughs> we've always assumed i mean to, uh, do we really know the sun's hot we've never been there we just yeah, kinda, that's like, true we see the sun and we feel hot it's like a correlation causation error there yeah. yeah maybe it gets cooler as you get there you know maybe only one person can find out jeff bezos, jeff bezos. <laughs> super astronaut super astronaut <laughs> explorer of deep space yeah i think he'd eat that one up yeah we'd have to convince him to like not leave a will so that we could take his money that's kind of a hole in your logic there but if he just left his money vulnerable we could redistribute it no maybe (laughs) maybe that is a hole in my logic yeah (laughs) yeah well i think if we make sure that there's no one left who he would, who his money would have gone to. Oh, so send okay. his entire, <laughs> extended his entire descended line. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They have to go start the first space colony. <laughs> on the what sun. Succeeded? <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're going to need your entire family that to go to. That's just part of the award. It's, <laughs> You can't get your it's it's the uh, super astronaut and family award. Yeah, <laughs> it's part You're of the deal. Gonna have to go to the sun. No, no one's ever been in space without a spacesuit before, so we don't know for sure <laughs> that it's dangerous. We're just guessing. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. I think we could get him if we could just get NASA on board. Be like, can I can I take my cowboy hat? (laughs) Absolutely, you can, bud. (laughs) You can wear it the entire way there. You know what? We'll let you bring the boots too. How's that, buddy? (laughs) Cowboy in space. (laughs) (laughs) Can I bring my dogs? No. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely not. We are taxing your dogs and taking them. The dogs will be rehomed. <laughs> the money will also be rehomed. Yeah. And your whole family will go to space. <laughs> <laughs> Except maybe the children. We'll like find mm. new families for the ch- I don't I don't want to make innocent children suffer. Yeah, well that's unfor- it's it's part of it's part of uh, will law. What if we yeah like erase all records that they were ever related to each other what if we create new identities for the children i don't i don't want to send children to the sun (laughs) in this very hypothetical scenario (laughs) yeah i don't want to have that on my conscience (laughs) fine (laughs) okay i guess (laughs) we'll work around it fine (laughs) It's going to be a pain in the ass with the paperwork, though. (laughs) (laughs) It'll take me at least two nights. (laughs) It would be a lot easier to send him to the sun, but okay, (laughs) fine.
that's enough for Bezos. Um, I guess we save the best for last. <laughs> the most topical. This is going to be another one you're going to have to introduce because I knew nothing about it. Yeah. Can you give us the history on Nancy Reagan's tremendous throating? Please. <laughs> Break it down for us, please. Yeah. So uh, essentially, a couple days ago, a revelation took the internet by storm Okay. Uh, about Nancy Reagan and the fact that she apparently invented <laughs> blowjobs <laughs> hell yeah she was she was the first person to ever be good at sucking dick uh basically what happened the first person to be good at it or first person to do it be good at it see oh. here's the thing here's my theory she invented I- that thing where you sort of like <laughs> curl your lips around your teeth so it's not <laughs> She was the first one to not just vegetable peeler the penis with her teeth. Oh my God. <laughs> the first non-toothy blowjob in human history. <laughs> I think people used to just sort of like put it in their mouths and like not really do anything. Yeah. And she was no, the first one who soaking. like put some technique in it. Right. Um but basically what happened is that Ben Shapiro's um, shitty sister uh, posted on Twitter. I don't really know what her point was. I think she was just slut shaming Madonna of all. I don't know why. I don't Madonna. know why she just woke up and was like mad at Madonna for Madonna. being hot. Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> it's important to pronounce Madonna with an Italian accent. Right. Um. And what did Madonna posted, do wrong? She here. Did you see the tweet or should I share my screen? She was just a, a, a strong independent she, woman. <laughs> That's there, right. There's this picture of Madonna. Um, she came out with the hit song Vogue. <laughs> it was too good. That's <laughs> true. But it's, it's a very good song. It was way too good. Um, so she got upset. There's this picture of Madonna laying on a bed in I will say kind of an awkward pose. I don't know entirely strike like, the pose. What her legs uh, are uh, doing. Uh, and she's wearing fishnets and like some sort of lingerie that definitely yeah. it's like a bra except the whole boob is out. So I don't know ah, exactly what you'd call that. Um, 60 something? What? Oh my god, she's 60 something. She's 63. <laughs> So she was comparing Madonna at 63 in this picture to Nancy Reagan at 64. Again, no idea why she chose these two people to compare to each other, um, aside from being women at the same age in the photos that she put together. Uh, And she said, trashy living versus classic living. Which version of yourself do you want to be? And uh, Mm. immediately was brutally ratioed by someone just inserting a a quote from an article about a biography of Nancy Reagan, which described her as being renowned in Hollywood for performing oral sex. Hell yeah. (laughs) Just say yes, Nancy. (laughs) Oh God. (laughs) Was known to give the best blowjob in town, not only even in the evening, but in offices. That was one of the reasons she was very popular on the MGM lot. Wow. Yeah. Good for so, her. It is good for her. She, she and, must have uh, really enjoyed it. She really, I think she had a passion for, you know, sucking dick. Right. She, uh, That's as good a passion as any. She had a talent and she wow. exercised it. And frankly, yeah. I think it's the best thing she ever did. She walked Almost so certainly, that yeah. Madonna could run. <laughs> It's probably the only good thing I've ever heard about Nancy Reagan. Yeah. Um, but it is it is hilarious that uh, Nancy Reagan turns out was the throat goat, which right. is now trending on Twitter. And also she invented blowjobs. And she did. She, yeah. Nancy Reagan invented head. Um, we modern, don't, we the don't modern have sense of head. Evidence <laughs> necessarily, but we know that she did. 
as bad also- as, <laughs> as bad as Reagan was, he could have been a lot worse had his wife not given such phenomenal head. <laughs> yeah. He could have been like Yeah, hitting. imagine. Um- <laughs> Like, he must have been a really terrible person to <laughs> still be such an ass with <laughs> the throat goat as his wife. He would be like, I want to hydrogen bomb Berlin now. And they would, the Joint Chiefs of Staff would be like, get Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> this man needs to be deep-throated right now. I, I feel like that probably did actually happen. <laughs> oh, so did I... just like... Ava Braun just give like a really bad, bad yep. head. Horrific head. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah. Very... <laughs> just the absolute dog shit head. I mean, who can blame her? It Toothy. was before the invention. Yeah. She didn't know about contemporary head. Yeah. Right. Nancy's really the Picasso of, you know. Yeah. That's bringing true. it into a whole other realm. She changed. She revolutionized. The she revolutionized head she did revolutionize head she turned it upside down oh she maybe literally oh god (laughs) could be (laughs) yeah there is a pretty big correlation between uh who got good head and whether there was a war (laughs) we're just assuming (laughs) I'm just kind of assuming that. you're making a reverse no inference. Let's just... <laughs> it's well, you can kind of intuit like Laura Bush obviously did not give good head. Yeah. But like that makes it makes sense that she would not have given good head. And also there was a lot of like war. Well, when, when have we good. not had wars? Uh Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> so Jimmy uh, Carter's yeah, wife, yeah, his must wife have just been. gave wow. unbelievable head. <laughs> Jimmy Carter was getting slurped every day. Oh. <laughs> she knew wow. the technique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Ew. Yeah. Uh, well, Lady Bird Johnson terrible head (laughs) (laughs) well to be fair he had just an insanely huge penis yeah so that no one could be expected to conquer that longer (laughs) no absolutely it's It's the mount everest of dicks yeah (laughs) and he was also Uh, old so it's probably smelly even nancy reagan couldn't couldn't make that happen. Well, this has been a, you know. <laughs> it's been a penis heavy episode. It has, yeah. And we've also put uh, most of the horrors of society on <laughs> the women not giving good enough. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh... So that's, a, that's not the best approach. It did could turn probably out to revise be that. pretty <laughs> misogynistic. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Look, um, it was aggressively misogynistic, but... <laughs> If only for good head, we would have peace on earth. <laughs> is basically what we're saying. Yeah. Well, next time we'll try to um, we'll we'll try to blame men a little more. Yeah, I feel like we kind of balanced Switch. it out with Jack the Snipper. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we earned our misogyny this episode. <laughs> We ate that our is vegetables. How it works. Yes. <laughs> we ate our vegetables. We we got a little dessert. We we'll just have to put a little apology disclaimer on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, this one we 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 went back and re-listened to it. It's like, oh well, it, it was it was pretty inexcusably misogynistic. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's. Uh... <laughs> But we're he keeping it. Blamed women for everything that <laughs> has know. ever happened. I mean, that's just what we men do. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. When yeah. Patty Nixon yeah. um, uh, had to get a root canal, that was the week that Nixon invaded oh, Cambodia. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 Oh, this no. is sort of fought through the pain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, that was too much. <laughs> I, th- I think we can end it on that. Yeah, too far, too far. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad we've been enlightened about the invention of head, and uh, I'm glad Nancy Reagan did one good thing in her life. I think she died long enough ago that it's okay to talk about. It. I mean, I, she it was, was like also three years a ago, wasn't it? Horrific oh, no, human five. being. So. Yeah she, yeah, she did a lot of bad stuff. She is complicit in the deaths of thousands of people from AIDS. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah, many uh, more. Wow. Her husband really fucked up politics in this country and just generally sucked. I, I mean, oh. I'm not going to blame her for Ronald Reagan sucking because clearly yeah. she was doing her best. <laughs> Yeah. All right, that's enough. He, he may have sucked, but she sucked much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god! Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. Swish. That. Yeah, you're gonna have to repent for that. I'm one. Ronald yeah, Reagan, I think we and I get go. tremendous head from my wife. Can you go to confession if you're not Catholic? <laughs> oh yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, gonna have to take it. They'll trip. be elated. They'll be like, "Oh hell yeah!" <laughs> yeah the next we got a time... non-Catholic. Oh, I can yeah. really go to town on it. The next time yes. the confessional, it's just gonna be like I talked for like 20 minutes about Nancy Reagan giving head to our former president. Yeah. I blamed um, about four or five first ladies for the wars started by American presidents. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine how that one would go down? I think the priest will get pretty yeah. turned on You'd by be that, like honestly. Ten Hail Marys for you. <laughs> yeah, just a couple. Let's bump that up to five Hail yeah, Marys. You know? <laughs> Clear that off. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. <laughs> Maybe in our father, you know, <laughs> throw the big one in there. Well, um, um, this has been quite the episode. It has been. Um, uh, this was this was get off the air. Yeah. Well, we have tried to end the episode about three or four times now, but well, yeah. <laughs> then you just keep adding just more. Compulsively talking about Nancy Reagan <laughs> <laughs> performing <laughs> fellatio on our former president ronald reagan <laughs> Rest and a bunch peace. of other people apparently we should do a special episode one time rehashing the drunk conversation we've had many times uh analyzing all of our past president's dicks i don't remember that that sounds like yeah. a great one we've done it a lot oh we do <laughs> <laughs> go through the history of wieners next time presidential yeah. wieners when you guys are here next week i think we need a spin-off yeah. podcast with that but yeah we can try that. It's a multi-app <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Just a limited series. <laughs> the Wiener Pod. Yeah, it'll be like a Ken Burns documentary series. <laughs> EP <laughs> colon presidential penis. <laughs> can, can we have one called Roast and Weenies where we like roast people's penises? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be rude. Yeah. We're above Some people that. would be into that. We've definitely balanced out the misogyny by now. You've talked uh, just nonstop <laughs> about mutilating penises. <laughs> the vulnerability of the penis. Yeah. Like, You're, are, you like, can't deny that it's vulnerable. It is, movie. but I don't want to think about it. <laughs> well, yeah. sometimes we have to acknowledge uncomfortable truths. That's true. Like the That's, I guess, the, of the uncomfortable truth I'll, I'll think about today. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> else. Just that one. Well, it's healthy. So you're welcome. <sighs> okay. Um, uh, on that note. All right. Do an outro. Do an outro. Okay. Go, go, go. <coughs> oh, don't make those sounds after what we just talked about. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> uh, this has been another great episode of Get well, Off the I Air. I wouldn't say great. I would say. Uh, I would say stupendous. It's been another seminal. S- this is going to be our seminal episode. Mm. Seminal. I it's wouldn't have used that seminal word. Seminal episode. <laughs> it's been a very phallic episode of Get Off the Air. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, hope you have a great, good old week. Nice little holiday week. 
that's give some, uh that's give it. some head this week yeah <laughs> you know why don't you why don't you give a little head a chance yeah this week if you want if you want you can't hurt just know that you will be partially responsible for any atrocities <laughs> committed by your partner. Yeah. If you don't. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Goodbye. All right. Okay. Well, Nancy, I guess we've been here long enough. Let's go ahead and blow this joint. can't wait to see what ryan puts in the outro cowboy music this time <laughs> it's just gonna be like like gargling yeah <laughs> just Glock like noises slurping. <laughs> oh god <laughs> no i'm not putting that i'm not but putting the, just overlay the grapefruit video sound oh. <laughs> yeah no oh, no oh. Uh...